Mastercam 2026 introduces a significant update. The tool manager is now integrated directly into the function panel on the left hand side, consistent with other panels. This means no more popping open separate windows or hunting through menus. The tool manager is always at your fingertips. Let's begin by looking at an existing Deber toolpath already on our part. We'll go ahead and backplot here just to see how it behaves. Here you'll notice several retracts in the toolpath, which can occur by avoiding gouges on the part. The retracts are a result of the tool's limited reach. With the updated tool manager, it is easy to define a more appropriate tool to eliminate these unnecessary retracts. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll start by opening the tool and looking at this tool assembly. Let's go ahead and make some edits to this particular tool from a file that we've downloaded from the internet. I have this file on level six. Once we green check, Mastercam is going to let us know that we're about to change the profile data. By looking at the information for the model that was imported, I can see that the cutting diameter is the same, and we'll leave the overall length the same as well, but I have to adjust the cutting length. By selecting the point on the start and the back side, we can populate these values. Let's do the same for our shank diameter and shoulder diameter. On the shoulder diameter, we'll select the diameter, and you can see that the shoulder shrinks in. Actually, the shank looks good, so let's go ahead and adjust this to have the taper we need. And we actually need to adjust the shoulder length. So select the origin, the bottom of that shank there, and we'll green check. Now looking at the holder, we're actually holding on to nothing. So let's, let's hold on to a half inch here. We'll give it a uh, 3.5. We'll green check. And let's start by regenerating our toolpath. One of the greatest enhancements here is how easily you can bring in this 3D model and make changes. This new model-driven definition makes it faster and more accurate to build the tool's definition itself. Once we backplot, we can see that we no longer have the retracts that we had before. Here, you see the uninterrupted motion. There's no more excessive retracts. Thanks to the longer tool reach that we just defined within the new tool manager. So why is this important? This gives us a faster workflow. The new dockable tool manager keeps everything in one place. No more switching between windows to save time. Uh, we get more accurate tools. We can import real time on these 3D geometry. This is also simpler and more intuitive.